right after lumen is installed uh, I just cd into uh, my directory and I opened it in sublime okay so then I tried to run a uh, PHP artisan and it, it gave me this error so you might get this error uh, mem, uh, mem cast not found so what you need to do is just go to dot env and replace this uh, cast driver so previously it might be memcast here and replace that with array all right so this cast driver you need to replace to get out of this error all right so uh, then uh, uh, we run this php artisan command and to see just a list of commands so as you can see there are uh, just limited number of commands like you can do cache clear you can see it migration uh, you cannot create controller and other you need to create them manually all right so you have uh, these number of commands so also we don't have PHP artisan tinker and yeah we cannot serve using php artisan serve so if you want to serve your application uh, just run this yeah you can get that command here and it will run your uh, application at localhost 8000 so you'll get this screen by default all right so that is about setup so i'm using since i'm using laragon uh, this will automatically create a virtual host for me so my folder name is weblo.api so if i go to web uh, low api dot dev i will get uh, get same thing okay so that is it so also i've created a new database called weblo so if you use largon you can just go to uh, database by here you'll get this id sql by default if you are on windows and just open to get uh, like this screen and you can create new database from here all right so currently we have no tables in here and let's go to dot env and set that up all right so now we can okay so first we'll create a user table so PSP artisan make migration create users table so I think we don't have make model command let's see yeah we we don't have because we don't have eloquent enabled by default so one thing you can do is you can enable eloquent and let's see if we have access to those commands so in order to enable uh, eloquent you need to go to bootstrap app and yeah we need to enable with eloquent and we will use facades as well so i will uncomment that as well so we can enable these uh, middleware authentication middleware as well yeah we'll get back to it in a moment all right so yeah still we don't have that command let's see okay we don't have those commands alright so let's create a user table so migration let's uh, see help okay so let's php artisan name of table users so if you get these type of errors just uh, composer dump auto load so composer dump auto load okay so this time it created so previously I created and then manually deleted the table 
so I'll keep it uh, very minimal okay so these are the fields I uh, will be needing and uh, let's migrate okay migrate it let's refresh mm, there we go all right so I think I forgot one more thing so PSP artisan I'll roll back uh, because I want to add one more field so it rolled back from here as well so I'll create one more field for uh, API token so so that will be text since it might get long so API token so as you can see in all service provider we are looking for API token inside users so we'll get back to it in a moment okay so uh, yeah we got everything set up uh, now let's migrate so everything is in place uh, now let's create uh, some sample uh, routes we'll create to test our API so since uh, we have this concept of boards uh, we'll create our boards first and then we'll add our cards into our particular boards all right so let's create our board controller so since we do not have any commands for that we'll just create uh, so we have this example controller and I'll just save it as uh, boards control board controller I think yeah B O A R D board controller so I'll create new uh, board model inside app uh, new file let's call it board dot PSP so I'll copy some of these so class board extends model so we'll import uh, this model so I have PSP companion so it will automatically import that so is, it will be the eloquent model so uh, currently we do not have created anything so board will have just names for now so for now just make it guard it and we'll add fillable once we make our table okay so uh, next we'll create a migration for uh, this board so PSP artisan make migration create boards table create okay let's go to that migration boards table so board will have name and what else yeah yeah we'll need user ID as well okay so quick recap we just created a board controller uh, and board model also board migration so it will have name of board and user ID that will tell us uh, which board it is okay let's uh, migrate okay so let's uh, go to board controller and uh, create some up some uh, boards so let's go to let's create a method named store it will store a board so we'll inject request request so import this class and we are good to go Hello okay so uh, now we want to store uh, some of data there so let's so after it is created successfully we'll return response JSON and we'll create one for index as well 
Yeah, we can return board all. And of course, we need to import this class app board. Okay, for now, I'll just create uh, one data, one dummy data, user ID one, one, and name first board. Okay. and let's create a route so it will be for boards and it will go to board controller at the rate index similarly for a post request so same route but store okay so let's make a request to this endpoint using I'll use postman so it is chrome extension you can install so I think chrome app so what that will allow us is uh, just type in this route and let us see on browser or uh, you can directly uh, put that in browser and see okay there we go so yeah we're getting a uh, response correct response and yeah we cannot create from browser so that's why we need postman all right so let's make a request from postman so let's send the get request there we go and this time we'll send a post request so we have this um, body and name will be uh, board uh, postman postman board and another key will be user id so we have not integrated uh, this authentication so we are passing this manually mm, okay let's send post request yeah success and you can see headers as well so status 200 okay so now let's send get request to this endpoint and let's see body yeah so this time we get uh, this first board as well as the postman board so uh, now we are successfully creating our board and we are uh, displaying our board so this is a uh, simple laravel stuff uh, you can so you can create one more for so so and you can inject board mm, board and return board the ID one and let's see what it returns hmm. so uh, this route should be above this one otherwise it will catch up and just returns everything not index it should go to so okay hmm. Uh, it 
should work uh, this dependency injection ID and port equals to port find or fail port ID let's make request this time okay cool let's get second resource yeah okay so similarly we can add update and delete I will not so I will just add behind the scenes and uh, you can add two so this is a uh, simple crud for uh, board so next we'll uh, we'll integrate a uh, authentication so that uh, uh, this user ID will get injected automatically so for that we'll define relationship okay so that's coming up next